Hello then, welcome <laughs> to a, a crazy, uh, yeah, a crazy isolation stream. Hope you all well. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm off work. Uh, got a bit of time to kill, so um, I thought I'll come on and uh, and and see you guys and say hello. And uh, if you're all in the same boat, then uh, we can all chill out together. And uh, yeah, so I was, I was scratching my brain on what to play. Um, farming sim was obvious choice. Um, I've lost my save, unfortunately, hence the reason why the Let's Plays have stopped. Um, I can go into the game, um, but then when I try and save, the, the game just hangs. And it must be a mod conflict or something. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, I, I haven't got that save anymore, which I'm really gutted about. But, um, you know, depending on how long, um, you know, we're all here uh, for, um, I'll... Um, as in isolation, uh, we may kick off that series if uh, if you guys want to. But I'm hoping going to stream every day. You know, I've got uh, like I say, I got some time to kill. So um, yeah, that, that's uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you guys are well and everyone's staying safe during these uh, crazy times. I'm not going to mention it too much. It's, it's a bit of a escape from it all. You know, from the uh, from the news and everything. So um, so yeah, how are you? I hope you're all well. Um, I haven't streamed for ages, so I'm just making sure that I've got um all my uh all the bits and bobs working and everything's uh yeah everything's up together uh i don't know whether that's the case or not but um but yeah we'll we're, we're, we're see we'll we'll uh we'll try <laughs> we'll try and get this done uh let's put a bit of music in the background there we go okay so hopefully the sound levels are okay uh if there's anybody even watching, I'm not sure. Um, if you're watching, ping us a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you can hear me. And uh, well, if you can't hear me, um, Davy Boy, hey, stock a long time. See, glad you see. Well, unfortunately, I'm still working, so we'll be able to watch for long. Davy Boy, no, no worries, mate. No worries. Um, it was just a, you know, just a few hours. Um, you know, we're gonna try a new, um, a new program called On Air, and um, it's a pretty. Um, it's a little bit like FS Economy, I suppose, and Air Hauler, if you remember, uh, I showcased that briefly. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a program that generates jobs for you to fly, and um, so I thought we'll have a we'll have a we'll have a go at that. It's nice and chilled, relaxed, you know. Uh, that's, that's what we need in this time, uh, for sure. Uh, so I'm just checking to make sure all, uh, all the same levels is okay, and you can see the screen and everything. Um, should be streaming in 1080 I, 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 if i've clicked the right button possibly we'll, we'll, we'll see um so yeah uh well let me show you what what i've got planned today um so there's a program called uh the on air airline manager um and uh, i set up uh, a company in the classic world i haven't done anything with it uh i'm <laughs> nice and uh yeah N n nice and uh, generic stock of gloss airways uh, we're gonna gonna pop into the world so i've got some uh, sort of funky weird chill out music playing in the background i don't know i can uh, I, c I can turn it off if you wish uh, i just thought uh, it just takes out that that silence <laughs> well you see i haven't been doing this for, for yeah you know, i haven't uh, let's played or, or done a stream for a long time now uh, as you guys know so i'm gonna be pretty rusty um alex walton hey hey i missed you i missed you too alex how are you all right um and uh oh wow okay we've got a new subscriber um several lord thank you so much M oh, massively appreciate it thank you thank you hey stocko long time no see how are you aiden plays games i'm very well aiden thank you yes um you know i'm uh, i'm off work at the moment so i've got a bit of time uh so i thought i'll uh i'll hopefully um you know say uh, uh well you know um share you know share a stream with you and and, and see and see how it goes uh it'd be nice to do this every day um good to see you lad yes several thank you so much yes thank you uh good to see you all and hey iron brew how are you mates i'm very well thank you very well uh, i hope everybody is uh, safe and sane as i say in these crazy times right um okay so we can do the tutorial i think if we go back um if we go back here, no, that's where I've just created it. Oh, that's my work phone. Well, uh, hang on. Oh. This is working earlier. 
this yeah here we go okay so we can start the tutorial and uh you know, i think you get an extra bit of money in a plane and everything else for it so uh not see that i'm not the only one in isolation i know i know uh alex well, not too bad lovely videos oh thank you alex cheers uh hope to be back at work next week yeah i'm not sure when i'm back um so uh i'm technically i suppose um i'm, I'm, I'm working um but um but my work is totally dried up um there's no there's there's nothing for me to do at the moment um so so yeah we're just uh we're just chilling out at home and um yeah i thought i got a few hours to kill so i'll come on here and uh, and share it with you guys so right so the rewards you get an aircraft and uh, you get seven and a half thousand pounds that ain't bad is it um and class is a key worker but the missus took you know last week's so oh Ivor, i'm sorry about that i hope uh, i hope she's okay uh Aiden, play the game. What do you do, Stocko? Uh, uh, hydraulics. Yes. It's, it's, unfortunately, I'm I'm not a key worker. Um, you know, the uh, hydraulics is a uh, it's a bit of a bit of a niche, a bit of a weird market. So, um, yeah, um, it's a it's a market that that isn't so key at the moment. Uh, please stream every day. Could do with a laugh. <laughs> yeah, me too. I know. That's that's what I. You know, it was actually the wife that mentioned it, saying, you know, you should get on there and, uh, you know and uh, do some uh, do some streaming and do some light-hearted stuff okay so you select your simulator which is x plane we know that all players are tycoon we want to play with the simulator uh, i've already done all this so that's fine can you hear the music okay or should i turn it up or turn it down uh, stock oil long tunnel see but i hope you and the family doing well we're, we're very well thank you yeah the dog's uh, keeping us very busy uh import demon thank you um but uh but yeah it's um yeah we're, we're just very fortunate i suppose the wife is working from home i'm kind of working from home i, I suppose so it's uh yeah it's just a bit of a weird time um and uh, you turn on the news it's all doom and gloom so you know hence the reason why I, I thought we'd do this for a few hours and hopefully you know maybe do it every day until until work kicks in again but um yeah uh that's it. Uh, but to me, that's the key worker. The fault is fail. We can't move wagons. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no. Uh, there are, you know, we are still working. I, 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 but we can't send out any good, goods or anything. So it's a bit, bit difficult at the moment to support industry. But you know, we, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's still at the very start. So hopefully, it'll blow over very quickly. Uh, music is too loud. All oh, right. Okay. Let me turn this bad boy down there. Hopefully, that's. Uh, is that okay? Right, uh, so we have a new job. Uh, so EGBJ to EGOV. Uh, so we can see the job here. Uh, and that's the job. So we're going from Gloucester all the way up. Oh, EGO. Where is it? EGBJ. Yeah, okay, so Gloucester all the way up to... Oh, North Wales in <laughs> near Lanferry Nubel. That's not how you pronounce it. I can guarantee that's not how you pronounce it. But we're going to go up there. Um, oh, from there to there, which is pretty cool. Um, go uh, prepare your flight. Go to the live map. Click on this. Blah, blah, blah. Adjust your fuel levels and go. Okay. I kind of know how to do all that. Next step, come back here after the aircraft is loaded and ready to fly. Right. So uh, we go to the live map. Uh, this is our little Cessna 172 SP. And uh, we click on this button here, prepare the next flight. So we're preparing the aircraft. And we're going to put some fuel in, obviously. So get to about 70%, uh, which is about 58 gallons in total. So we've got the left fuel tank and the right fuel tank, or fuel tank one and two. Uh, here, uh, we're going to EGOV. I like to make a note of this on my pad, on my trusty pad. And uh, EG. OV. We've got ATC today. We've got uh, a uh, what was it called the program uh, pilot to ATC. So they're going to be watching us and keeping us safe. Um, so we're going to load up, going to load up the uh, the goods here, the tutorial cargo, and you can see our overall gross weight. And this is the weight that you know we can carry. This is the current weight at the moment. Um, apparently, I weigh two hundred ninety five pounds. Don't know what that is in stones. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's right. Um, and uh, yeah, this is where we fill our fuel up from, uh, from FBO. Um, 
in Gloucestershire, and we're paying how much are we paying uh, four pound forty one a gallon. Uh, now we can set our cool thing with this like FS economies. We can set our own FBOs up, uh, so you can have your own fuel and and um, hangers and and works. But you know you can have accommodation for your employees, and you can you know honestly this it, it looks really really good. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do um, we EGOV so confirm and go. Uh, I just want to check the options a minute. Uh, Um, don't force time in sim. And I think that's all I need. In sync. No, that's all fine. That's all fine. Okay. Uh, let's go back. What are you doing? Game. Um, glad to hear it. I'll be sure to catch up with you as I'm able. Uh, I know you drive a truck, so I keep you busy. Input demon. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, no. Oh, I'm seeing it's already open. There we go. Uh, I was lucky I got to hang out with Dura when he was over the other week, just before it happened. Oh, brilliant. I hope he's well. I haven't spoken to Dura for a long time. Uh, it's better we uh, should. It's better if we should choose the music. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to do that, uh, Alex. Uh, maybe I'll, uh, I'll I'll look into that and figure out to <laughs> and figure out how that works because uh, yeah, it was bad enough me just pressing the button to turn this thing on uh, and it and it working. So oh no, I think I've broken it. I think I've broken it. Okay, he was good. His face was priceless when he tried when he. Tried on brew. <laughs> oh, when you tried iron brew. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart the company because I think I've broken it already. So company name. Uh, S G A W. And that was it. Difficulty leveled easy. Payout loads. Uh, uh, we we'll choose a, an avatar. Quite like the bold guy. Uh, where is he? There he is. Cool. Okay. Uh, oh, initial location. E G B J. And uh, cool. Hello, Stocko and Chat. Arty Shoulder Soldier. How you doing? All right. Hope you're well. So uh, yeah, we're gonna play that. I'm not gonna change it. Yeah, the. Uh, the settings because it, it broke last time but um let's uh let's get in there okay so we're going to egov e i think i showed this everybody i think it's the top yep there we go and oh no it's gonna crash again come on game you've been playing perfectly for me off screen Come on. Oh. Arctic, I'm very well. Very well. Yes, we're all safe and sound here. Um, okay, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Let's create. No. Okay. Let me just come out of that and go back into it. Turn it off and turn it back on again works uh, all the time. There we go. I don't know what it means when we rest. No, just resume. Come on. Play the game. Here we go. So go to the live map, prepare the flights. We'll have to do it this way. Uh, 
Put some fuel in. So again, sort of seventy percent, eighty percent, and load up the goods to EGOV again. All that there. Yeah. Now, in our simulator, we have to go to the flight. Uh, so we are flying the uh, the Cessna, Cessna one seven two. Uh, we're going to be at the Gloucester um, time of day. Was it twelve forty five ish? There we go. Start new flight. And we'll let that do that. And then we can confirm and go in a minute. Um, I think that's all okay. There we go. So now they're filling up the fuel and loading all the uh, all the bits and bobs, and we should uh, we should be good to go soon. Uh, all right, what do you do, Stucco? I've been around long enough to know it's something. You yes, it is something I've done. Um, Clearly, it's uh, it's definitely something I've done. So where are we going? We are going to EGOV. So EGOV. Uh, we're going to the valleys. And uh, yeah, we've got all this. Yeah, you can see it's uh, filling up the fuel. Once it's all done, you go, yeah, cargo is loaded. And then uh, start flight tracking. Aircraft is, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll wait until, we'll wait until this is loaded. Uh, it's not quite loaded yet. I've got quite a few mods on this thing, so it takes a little while. Uh, are you looking forward to the new Microsoft uh, Flight Sim? Uh, crazy how uh, they're mapping. Uh, hey, um, yeah, Aiden, it's um, it's really exciting, isn't it? I'm I'm mega excited uh, for the uh, Microsoft. Now this looks to me like Gloucester. Yes, that's right, isn't it? So if we go back to here. Uh, start flight tracking. Aircraft is busy. Oh, please don't play this. Um, aircraft ready. Ah, there we go. Okay. So aircraft ready. Cargo, 106 pounds, 105 pounds. No packs, uh, which is no people on board. And uh, fuel on board is 7.6 gallons. So can we fly? Start flight tracking. There we go. Tracking aircraft. Cool. And then you can see we are in Gloucester, and we're heading up to we're heading up to EGOV. Um, I think our emergency uh, or second place is the EGFD. Now I've, I've seen something. You can see there. It's got a, a cross, and that won't it won't let me start the tracking because it's expecting the X plane eleven Cessna. Uh, not the and I've got the which one have I got? I've got the uh, eight to A says no one seven two, so we're just going to have to go and fly that one. Unfortunately, just for the tutorial, and then we can uh, we can fly whatever we want then. So, uh, flight configuration, um, so just the standard Cessna, Cessna Skyhawk. There we go. Uh, start new flight. There we go. Uh, I think you should give Minecraft a go. Not thinking of burning houses. <laughs> yes, Iron Brew. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully that's uh, that's not a thing uh, anymore. You know, you won't catch me burning anything down <laughs> in Minecraft. So we are here in uh, in Gloucester, and um, yeah, we should be able to track off flight now. That's the wrong one. That one. Uh, yep. Yeah, now you see the model there is become. Yep, yeah, it's a big tick because it's. Uh, it's not only is it the the actual aircraft as a 172 but also the model as well and when we uh, go into buying our first aircraft i'll show you uh, what that means um but then we should be able to start tracking now on air flight monitor started there we go on air flight monitor started so we are we are tracking and also what's pretty cool is when you choose the uh the fuel uh, in, in in here it does adjust the fuel into the uh into the plane so we're you know we're, we'll have 70 percent of fuel on this thing once we start it now i thought i was gonna be flying the bonanza that's the that's the one that i want to fly so i haven't flown the cessna for a little while so you're gonna have to bear with me uh make sure the knobs are turning properly there we go and that one okay Right, uh, let me say hello to people. Hey, Stockholm, I'm trying to see how you're doing, buddy. K S I H, I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're well. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm. I'm technically off work at the moment, um, so I've got a bit of time to kill. So I thought I'd say hello to you guys and do a nice stream um, and uh, see see how we get on with this new on air 
uh, airline manager uh, software, uh, which so far is pretty good. Uh, I, I haven't really showcased it the best. It's crashed. Well, not crashed on me, but uh, I've crashed it a few times, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, we'll we get, we get through it. Uh, Nick, 333, Stockholm, Mr. Videos, mate. I know, I know, I know. Um, what can I say about the, the Let's Plays? It's 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 been so difficult. If you if you do let's plays, uh, you 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 kind of appreciate where I'm coming from. Is that that work is all encumbering, and 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 when I'm, you know, I'm traveling every day. I'm doing thousands of miles a week, or or you know, in some cases, uh, I'm traveling in uh, to Europe a lot. Um, you know, Japan I've been to, and Israel, and and other places around the world. It's it's very difficult then to spend the time away from your family to 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 do videos and and a. Uh, 35 40 minute video um in reality can take two or three hours you know by the time you've you know you set everything up and then you, you know you record it the, the easy bit is playing the game and recording it and then you've got you know obviously the editing and then you've got the rendering and and so and then in the uploading and, and everything else so it, it it's it's something which i'm very cautious of is starting and stopping and starting and stopping but due to the work and, and what i'm doing um i I have no, I've got no choice. I, I do as much as I can, but yeah. And then the longer that gap is, the harder it's to get back into it, you know. So, so that's that's kind of the reason why you know the the videos have, have slowed or stopped uh, to a point. But now, obviously, I've got some time, uh, so I wanted to 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 you know to cheer everybody up, hopefully, and 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 say hello and make sure everybody's safe and sound, and and that's um you know that, that's 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 what I'm doing. So, yeah. Stucco plus fire equals burn everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I flew uh, one of these over the states. Oh wow. Okay. Oh cool. So we got the Cessna one seven two. I'm going to fly it up to somewhere called the Valley uh, E G O V, and uh, it's the the flight is probably going to be the quickest thing. The setup and the prep and everything else is going to take a little bit more. But I want to show you everything that I do before I fly. Uh, do a session, a flying session, so you can kind of see. Uh, from start to finish. Now, um, let me set this bad boy up. This is called Fly Live. This is here uh, on the on the tops up here. You can see all the information. Um, so this thing is going to, to uh, just just adjust some of that. So we know where we're going. Um, so what we do is we set up the flight. So we are departing uh, Gloucester, which is E G B J, and we are arriving at E G O V. Uh, call sign today. Uh, have we got a call sign on the on the actual plane? No. Um, so we are Cessna. Uh, one one. I don't know. Cessna one. There we go. Cruising altitude. Uh, we did probably like five thousand feet. And uh, there we go. So that should all have adjusted at the top with the magic of science and. Hopefully, no, is that, oh, apply. Is that, no, is that setting up? I can't see it. No, it probably doesn't recognize EGOV because it's a RAF base. Uh, that's probably why it's, uh... okay, things are going great today. <laughs> Uh, firing, uh, firing fangs. Greetings from Hong Kong. Hello. I hope you're well and safe. Um, go full time on Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think my boss will like that too much. Um, uh, wow, it's soccer glass. Great to see you back. Hey, doggy, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, it's it's good to be back. Uh, what he really means is he misses what she some peace. Yeah, <laughs> bro, yeah, and that the truth. Um, so, okay, uh, we've got that set up. We've got that set up, kind of. Uh, what else are we doing? Um, so I've got this program called, let me bring this across uh, here. So it's called Pilot to ATC. Now some of you may have seen this, some of you haven't. Um, but basically this is, because at the moment X-Plane haven't got a ATC. Um, so we use this, uh, well I'll use this to give us some, uh, some ATC. Um, it's quite easy to use. Uh, so you just type in your waypoint here. So EGBJ. And then here to uh, where we're we going to E G E G O V, and hopefully it recognises it. There we go. E G O V Valley. There uh, you go. Auto plan. 
and then basically it uh, calculates a route. The approach contains one of the restrictions. Okay, six and a half thousand feet. So, so we need to put our cruise level to six five zero oh, six five zero zero, and it's recommended at eight thousand. I don't know whether we're going to get up that high with the Cessna 172, but we'll try. Um, and there you go. It calculates everything. So if you see here, uh, what it does is it, uh, you can see the line here, it goes through to Alpha, and then it comes around, around Hollyhead. Oh, we've got a lovely, um, sort of a lovely flight in, in uh, into uh, into EGOV, uh, runway 13. Uh, is that, that's an ILS approach as well, which is brilliant. And you can see, yeah. I quite like that. So it should be quite beautiful coming in, uh, you know, having a look at Hollyhead and stuff. But we've got some flight uh, planned altitude. Okay, there must be a planned altitude of 6,500 somewhere along that flight. So so there we go. There's our flight path. And um, we just validate it and make sure it's all within, you know, current um, uh, ARAC uh, cycle. Now you see there the ARAC cycle is 2003, which is the latest at the moment. And um, yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll come back to that one shortly. Uh, start watching your old farm sim videos. Uh, I can get my stock of things, <laughs> Nick. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, my cousin still watches them now, um, and he's uh, yeah, he's 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 enjoying it still. Uh, things are going to go great today, he says while laughing. It gives confidence that all makes it one piece. That's right. So, you know, honestly, uh, so so climb aboard. It's, it'll be fine. Uh, you know, just, just you know, find a space in, in, in the Cessna somewhere. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start this bad boy up. So I just want to double check that we're 100% we're being tracked, and we are at the moment. Um, so we've, uh, yeah, let's start this, if I can remember how to start it. Uh, let's turn... Okay, master switch is on. Uh, the fuel pump. A little bit of fuel. Your flight will Turn be off. monitored until you land and shut down the engines. There we go. We're starting. Cool. Is that really loud? Do you want me to turn this down? Is it loud? I can already hear it in my headphones, but my headphones are really quiet. If you want me to turn it down, I can try. I can try. I can turn it down. Actually. There's this little thing here. Hopefully that sounds okay for you. Right, we start the engines. That's the main thing. Let's turn the avionics on. Hey, Sussex, how are you? Hey, stranger, how are things? Uh, you meant to stream when I'm not working. I have to be here in this <laughs> Uh Well, yes, uh, I'm uh, kind of at home, technically working, um, but uh, things are very, 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 very quiet. Um, so uh, I'll just check my work phone as well. I don't know if you've seen that. I've got the Gloucester, the Gloucester thing on a, uh, the phone case. I know, I'm sad. So yeah, I'm technically working, but uh, yeah, things are just really, really quiet at the moment. So I thought I would cheer everybody up and say hello. Uh, actually, watching this from my feeding room in the barn, so kind of works out. Oh, cool. And uh, I'm good. Thank you. Still working at the moment. Flat out until until otherwise. Yes, so six. Yeah, I understand that you're 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 a key worker, buddy. Um, and uh, yeah, I appreciate everything that everyone's doing to keep uh, to keep food and 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 medicine and everything else. Uh, uh, for us. Uh, safe flight, Stucco. Take care uh, of us along the flight. Is there any drinks served on the plane? Um, <laughs> well, due to the shortage, no. Um, so it's, it's, it should only be an hour or so up to uh, up to North Wales. But um, hopefully, does it sound okay? Because I'm seeing the bars are getting quite high. Um, is it too loud, or you, you guys okay with it? I can turn things down if need be. Sounds good here. Okay, brilliant. 
we'll leave them as they are. Um, right, we started that, started that, fuel pumps off, we put the beacon on, uh, probably won't put the taxi looks on just yet, uh, the nav, the strobe, uh, put the pito. Oh, even though it's quite a nice day today, I don't think we're going to get any snow. Um, let's just back up, back up on that. Now, pretty cool thing is uh, using our ATC. Let me bring this across here to show you. So using this thing, um, we can connect to the SIM. Uh, okay, so it says now is at N nine seven eight AP N nine seven eight AP. Uh, I don't think this is worked out. Um, now we're connected. We can save. Uh, no, uh, we can export the flight plan here we go so you export the flight plan and you just put it in your wherever folders need to be saved so EGB to EGOV and you go export and then in your jobby here that's the technical term for it uh, you can I normally use the different uh, right, where is it? Uh, flight plan. Here we go. So you can see all the ones that we've got there. So we're looking for EGOV, enter, and then the flight plan is loaded. Cool. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I made that really hard. <laughs> Uh, we've got a star that didn't really combust into flames, haven't we? That's something right. Uh, case, no, no, it's working. Uh, yeah, the propeller's spinning the right way, I think. Um, so, uh, happy days. Now, I, I can't adjust, you know, along the top here, the altitude the altitude would be okay, the ground speed would be okay, um, call sign and all that. I can't change that just yet because it doesn't look like the program um, understands where we're going. Because um, it's an RAF base, it, it, it doesn't, uh, doesn't know. So, um, Okay. EGB. Have I chose the right one? That says EGVN. No, EGOV. Yeah, okay, we're okay. Right. Uh, what am I doing now? Let's turn some of this stuff on. That's on, that's on. Okay, we need to set the set the ultimate the, the uh, altitude meter hang on uh, go on to here so ATIS is 127 I might need to press a button here uh, can we hear it 127 can tell you that the altimeter is uh, 1024 so in here we change this to 1024 there we go and you can confirm that by going to here and it says 1022 Ah, there we go that should be 1024 cool okay so I tend to go push to talk. Uh, yeah, it's using my here, um, and we're going to go to the tower, which is one two two point nine. So here one two two point nine. There we go. We can bring this up, and you can request uh, clearance, and then here you go. Cessna eight Alpha Papa ready to copy IFR clearance. Cessna eight Alpha Papa, you were garbled. Please say again. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa, ready to copy IFR clearance. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa, we don't have a flight plan on file for you. No, you're right there. Let me just follow that then. There we go. 
Cessna 8 Alpha Papa, ready to copy IFR clearance. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa is cleared to Echo Golf Oscar Victor as filed. Expect departure runway 27. Climb and maintain flight level 040. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Squawk 6122. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa is cleared to Echo Golf Oscar Victor I've got auto as filed. Repeat on. Climb and maintain flight level 040. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Okay, so we need to set squawk 6122. The squawk here. So six Cessna one two two. 8 Alpha Papa rear back correct. There we go. QNH is 1024. On. Let us know when you're ready to taxi. 1024 set. QNH is 1024 Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. I'm not going to use that. And there we go. Okay, so we set our. Uh, Ultimator, we've got, we've got the float plan loaded, we've got our squawk, we've got clearance, uh, so I think we're ready to taxi now. Um, Stocker, well, uh, how have you been and how are you? OCB, uh, I'm very well, thank you. Hope you're well. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, we're all uh, we're all safe and sane, we're all in isolation, so uh, I thought I'd do some streaming as uh, work is very, very quiet. And um, so, yeah, uh, hope you're enjoying. Okay. What are we doing? Right. Let me bring this one up. Let me show you this. This is nav charts. Um, so you search here to EGBJ. Uh, it's got all your all the charts and things that we need. Um, so what's quite nice is we've got this taxi sheet. And if you click this button here, we should show up on uh, where we're parked. There we go. We're parked here. Um, so when we uh, call for taxi in, they'll give us like J, H, um, B or E and it just tell you know, I think we're runway 27 okay so we're taking off this way going out that way so I'm zooming we're going to go J M uh, what's that A or A or X I don't know what that is A or yeah, A I think yeah so J M A A2 boom get on and let's go so I think that's what they're going to ask us for but let's uh, let's see what they say so, Cessna 8 Alpha Papa, ready to taxi. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa taxi to runway 27 via Taxiways Juliet, Juliet. Hotel, Hotel, Kilo, Alpha, hold short Kilo. runway 27. Oh. Taxi to runway 27 via Taxiways Juliet, Hotel, Hotel. Kilo, Kilo, Alpha, hold and short runway alpha. 27 Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. Okay, and the hold short there. So we're going this way, that way, up there, okay, okay, right. So I'll just put this in the other screen so I can see where I'm going, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's rock and roll. Just check chat. Uh, keep forgetting you guys are here. <laughs> uh, really can't see much if you uh, watch me. Not for shows. Uh, Snap fails with JCB. We all know we're first person, but what? Yeah, it's good to see that. Hunter. Yeah, <laughs> front loading. Eh, your front loading skills are about as good as mine. Uh, just saw you streaming. Good to see you, sir. I hope you uh, hope to see more from you in the future. Uh, the Bloom, yes, uh, me too. Um, as I was saying, I, I've explained a few times. Um, you know, work is probably a massive factor. The reason why I'm not um, oh, I've got my pedal somewhere. Uh, um, why I haven't uh, been um, been doing the Let's Play videos. Um, but you know, things are sort of fairly quiet now um, due to the isolation and stuff. So I, I wanted to uh, do a stream and hopefully cheer people up um, <laughs> that's the plan okay right pedals are working let's uh, take off the handbrake and I've got to find out where I'm going okay so Juliet Hotel Kilo Alpha Gotta put our taxi lights on. Okay. So we're in Gloucester. We're taking off Gloucester. We're going to the North Wales EGOV, and uh, fun times are going to be had by all. I'm sure. I thought we were going too fast. 
So we're kind of turning right at the end and then a, a, a direct left. I think it's up that way. So I want to make sure I don't run into that building. Let's uh, let's play the toilet tycoon. It was one of the funniest videos I've watched on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. I enjoyed doing that. That was a lot of fun. I think it. Do I go to the bottom of here? No, it's this. It's this left here. This is Kilo. So we've gone down here. I'll show you on the screen. So there's where I am at the moment. Ooh. And, uh, uh, Jax, I'm all, I'm already cheerful seeing you live. Oh, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm uh, I'm excited to uh, to be streaming again. So, because the music is so quiet, everything. In my headphones are really quiet. Let me try. Um, just check in to make sure everybody's okay with sound levels and things. And does it look okay? It should be 1080p. It should there should be no stuttering. I don't think I've dropped any frames or anything. Um, so uh, yeah, if you can just let us know. Okay, we're going to turn left uh, a little bit and then turn right. As you can see, and then we're going to go to Alpha. Parker alpha. Advise when ready for departure. We're going to advise when Wilco we're ready. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. We're going to advise when we're ready. Uh, so we're going to just turn right here. Aiden, all good. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. All good for me. Thank you. Ah. I was worried because it's been so long. I was going to press the wrong buttons and nothing was going to work. And, uh, you know, typical stock of course. <laughs> but, uh, good. It's working. So we're coming up. There's the uh, there's the runway. We're gonna hold short and then we're gonna let them know. Um, hey, Shadman, Stocko has been way, way, way too long. It has indeed. How are you? So we're gonna hold short this runway. Let them know that we're holding short, and then they're gonna give us the clearance to take off, and then the fun begins. Because I haven't flown the Cessna for oh for a, for a long time. Anything can happen. <laughs> Okay, so this is the uh, the line where we hold. There we go. Let's put the handbrake on, and you can see where we are. We're just there. We're holding short, so we're just going to come onto the runway. Happy days. All right, let me just get rid of that. Let's speak to the um, ATC. And request the takeoff. So. Tower, Cessna 8 Alpha Papa, ready for departure, runway 27. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa, winds are light and variable cleared for takeoff. Runway 27, maintain runway heading until above 1,100 feet, then turn right heading 340 to intercept course. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 27, maintain runway heading until above 1,100 feet, then right to 340 Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. 1,100. We've got to stay where we are for 1,100, and then we can turn on to our nav to North Wales. Just make sure. <laughs> this is me trying to duck. <laughs> I can't see anything. There we go. Okay. Right. Let's just stop here. Let's turn off the. Uh, taxi lights, put on the landing lights, uh, Pito is on, fuel pump, uh, I think that looks all okay. Let's see if we can put some lights on those instruments. Okay, all good. Let's uh, uh, set, now I've got a little button here which is going to fling that to there which is the runway heading and then when we go we're just going to click on the heading and then we just manage our uh, uh, VS level, our vertical speed, and uh, we go up to 1,100. I think we're going up to 4,000, and then expect um, expect higher. There we 
girl. Right, wish me luck. I've got to say happy birthday to you. Thank you, the bloom. Yes, happy birthday to me in isolation. Not seeing any of my family. Oh, never mind. Uh, where's my wash machine located? Well, it's on the front of the plane at the moment. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just cleaning the, uh, it's just cleaning the clothes as we speak. Okay, so airspeed's alive. We're at 40 knots, 50 knots, 60 knots. We're going to rotate. Uh, we're up. Oh, nice and easy. I suppose getting up in the air is not too bad. It's uh, airborne time logged. It's when you're. Uh, so we're going to keep this head in. We're not going to be vertically at that. No, 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 no. Right, five. There we go. And uh, we've got to stay here until 1,100, and then we can go on to our um, it's Gloucester. Oh. So I haven't got the details at too much because I was worried about streaming. I normally have it slightly higher than this, but... Um, See, it looks pretty, looks pretty cool in my eyes. Um, yeah, we're climbing okay. One thousand one hundred. We can. Uh, uh, you already pressed the wrong button, stock. <laughs> Don't say that. We're in the air. It's too late now. Um, all these people, I well, There's a lot of traffic on the road, considering uh, you know everybody should be at home. You right to fly? You're meant to be staying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hopefully, um, the same's okay. Uh, hopefully, you can hear everything. I've got to say, everybody, to you. yeah, thank you. Uh, I think I'm talking about uh, stack of bells and 435. I've got it. Just never did anything with it. 435. <laughs> You're a braver man than me. As long as he's in the plane on his own. No, no, you're all with me. All of you. Yeah, so you're all tucked in the back here. You're, you're, all of you, uh, you know, iron brews in the uh, in the middle there. Um, so we're facing 100. We can now go to our nav. And we go to GPS. There we go. So we're on our way. Uh, we're climbing up to 4,000 feet, um, and we'll probably get higher vectors after. Uh, I don't look right. Why aren't you following the follow the line? Why aren't you following the line? I don't know why that's not following. That should be following the uh Cessna 8 Alpha Parker contact Manchester Centre on 118.77. Have a good afternoon. Ah, okay. Centre on 118.77 Cessna 8 Alpha Parker. As long as he's in the plane on his own. No, I'm not on my own. As I said. There we go, we're following it now. I don't know what's going on. Um so Centre Cessna 8 Alpha drive. Papa climbing to flight level 040. So we're climbing to 40. Cessna 40, 8 0. Alpha Papa, good afternoon. Contact Radar Manchester. contact. Uh, Brew, that was the logic when you heard the truck on the street. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're okay. Ground speed is what, 103 knots. Uh, altitude, you can see the altitude there. We're uh, just coming past 2300. Um there we go, two thousand three hundred and oh no, there's three hundred. Oh yeah, there we go. So I've got Orbex um south, north, well pretty much the whole of the UK in Orbex. Um I do like uh, how it looks. 
It's a shame we're not flying the Cessna, the A2A Cessna. It's a bit more realistic, but um, yeah, this is okay. So now, obviously, the engines are cracking on. Everybody okay with the sound? Um, it's not overpowering. I, I have got music on, but I think you can hear the music. I certainly can't in my headphones. Um, and excuse the big bottle, but um, got some, got some water. this talking I'm not used to it <laughs> well things are looking good coming up to 3000 feet um, yeah we're following this the uh, following the sat nav up to North Wales and uh, let me show you this thing okay and uh, what this is doing is telling me, basically, it's directing me to say plan altitude is 080, which is 8,000 feet. So when we get to alpha, it should have dropped me down to 6,500 feet. Um, and when we get to the D306, which is up, up here, um, we should be down to about two, just over 2,000 feet. And then we'll be ready to, to land an ILS uh, on runway 13. Cool. Um, I'm not forgetting anything. No, I think we're good. Uh, how are the dogs? Uh, Bloom, yeah, the dogs, are, dogs are well. Um, they're uh, they're they're going a little bit stir crazy. Um, if you remember the new one, uh, Nessa. Uh, if you, some of you don't know, uh, my old dog. Oh, she's eight. Um, we had her when we got married, and uh, we called her Maddie. Cessna 8 Alpha Ooh. Papa, climb and maintain flight level 080. Climb and maintain flight level 080, Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. Okay, let me just reduce the vertical speed a little bit on this thing. Um, what we can do, sorry, before I do that, let me try and, even though we're climbing, um, got to keep, I tend to keep around about 80, 80 to 90 knots. Um, but even when you're climbing, you can what we call trim it. So you see, you lean the engine out uh, just until you start seeing a drop. There we go. So what that does is it, it drastically reduces your fuel flow. So as I increase, you know, this is mega lean, which means that we're using loads and loads of fuel, and the these this is exhaust gas temperature, and it's really low. And what we want to do is as we increase or pull back and lean the engine until we start seeing a little drop in revs then we're reducing that fuel flow but also increasing the exhaust gas temperature and then you see there there's our fuel um, our pressure temperature vacuum the amp, uh, you know the power is all looking good the engines in the green um, you know we're we're all looking as where I'd like to see things and we're gonna keep climbing hopefully to 8,000 we should get to 8,000 feet it's a lovely, clear, clear, sunny day. There's no clouds in sight. It should be a, a real nice flight for us today. So yes, uh, we've got Maddie. Uh, Maddie is eight, and she, um, she, uh, we called her uh, during our song, uh, our dance at the wedding. It was madness. It must be love, and um, we called Maddie Mad, well Maddie after madness. Uh, so then we got another dog called Nessa. Uh, so madness, and we called her Nessa. So there's a bit of a yeah, a thing there. Uh, speed is only not, that's not fast enough. Uh, the world is shut down so you can go as fast as you want, as long as the winds don't drop on. The yes, S case, you know, we, we just uh, try and go as fast as possible. Uh, so the grain speed, this is where, you know, the grain speed is showing at um, 102 knots, um, and this thing is showing about 90 knots. So it looks like we've got a bit of a wind going this way, pulling us forward, um, which is uh, which is great. We may get there. Yeah, uh, you know, once we level off, we'll increase to say 100 knots, and and, and the grain speed may go to about 120, um, which is which is brilliant. Uh, the bloom. It's a lovely story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So uh, the little one, uh, Nessa, she um, she came into season not so long ago. So uh, before the craziness started uh, with this virus, um, the uh, the um, 
she started there a season so we kind of isolated her anyway for that and then obviously everything's kicked off now so we can't really walk her um, so so they've been been going a little bit stir crazy both of them but uh, they're handling it really well considering they've got no idea what's going on um, so I'm really uh, really really pleased yeah they're fine thank you yeah coming up to uh, up to 5,000 feet See if we can get some. Ooh, there we go. So there's our little Cessna, and we're flying to North Wales on a lovely, clear, sunny day. Brilliant. So, how are you? All? Are you you all well? Uh, is some of you were uh, working or, or uh, yeah, you, you're at home? Jack Seed, may I ask what you're using for your pre-planning? Yes, me. Uh, okay, so at the start of the uh, the stream, I showed people this um, this new well, it's new to me, but this um, program called On Air, and um, they generate the um, uh, they generate the the routes and things. So basically, you own an airline company. Uh, you start off with a very small Cessna, and um, a little bit like air hauler FS economy. Um, but I do like the interface and how this works. Um, the only little bad thing I've got about this is that it takes you to some weird and wonderful um, uh, destinations that um, that may not have any ILS or or, um, or even lights in some point, you know. So that's the only bad thing about it. You've got to be a little bit careful where they try and take you. Um, but um, yeah, you can see we're flying. You know, we left here, Gloucester. This is where I live, uh, and we're flying to the north, uh, sort of. Yeah, as far as you can go. Northwest Wales, so up to EGOV. Um, so we are ILS runway 13, I think, even though they haven't announced it yet, and sometimes it does change. Uh, but yeah, ILS runway 13 is what we're looking at. So, what we could do is um, what we can do is I'm using Jack's I'm also using this thing here called Air Pilot to ATC and um, it kind of sort of plots uh, where you go in and um, it should be following that line I don't know <laughs> I'm a little bit off that line it might tell me to uh, to get back over um, but we're on our way to Alpha now if I just check this sometimes I go flight plan yeah, I think okay. I know what's happening. Sometimes when you import the um, the flight plan, it takes you straight to EGOV and then it goes to Alpha. So what you need to do is literally just oh, hang on, uh, don't do that. Um, is just go direct to Alpha. There we go. So then on our flight plan, we should be then going straight to Alpha as per the this this here so we're going here so we're going to go direct to alpha and then we're going to make our our uh, star I guess um, so let's, let's have a look see if the navi charts has eg o v it does valley okay so download the uh, the charts here so we are uh, doing a no, an approach, uh, ILS 13. Does it tell me? So, Alpha I13, Alpha I13. No, just, I guess it's that one. 
Ah, there you go. There's the alpha. Yeah, okay. So you can see where we're going. So we're going straight to alpha, and then we're doing that curve onto the onto this. There we go. Boom. And, and go in. So that's um, that's what we're doing. Okay. So to set set up the uh, the I for an ILS approach, uh, things that's important is the 136 degrees, uh, and the ILS DME is 108.55. Five at uh, one three six degrees. Um, so you see your ILS runway thirteen one three is because it's hundred and thirty six. So say if it was uh, ninety degrees, it would be o nine uh, and yeah, vice versa. So cool. Okay, so we've got that information. Um, see the the arc that we're doing uh, we're not doing a DME arc we're, it's kind of already plotted for us which is great because I'm not quite sure how to do the uh, the DME stuff but um, um, so where are we, where are we? Uh, yeah okay so on on here uh, so the OBS I've got a button here for the OBS but you set the OBS here this OBS you set to the 136 degrees. So 120, 130. There you go. It's about 136, I think. You set that there to 136, uh, and then also in the V lock, uh, you've got to type in 108 points. So under the V lock here. No, that's the wrong one. So here you type in one oh eight point three uh was it five five? Let me just check. I can't read my writing. Uh one oh eight point five five. There we go. Uh, one oh eight point five five. There we go. Type that into there. Okay. So then the uh, the V lock is is, is 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 doing that. What I tend to, what I like to do, um uh, can't really see it here, but if I click on that button there, nav one. Uh, I don't know whether that's on or off, but you should be able to hear like a, a beeping sound, which means that you're on the ILS or you're picking up the ILS at, at the very least. So, yeah, okay, that's good. Um, well, we're starting to drop speed a bit, so I want to reduce that slightly as we're climbing up to 8,000. That's good. Come on, you can do it. Get up there. Um, Get some speed up, get to 8,000, and then we'll level off. And then we'll start to. Uh, let me give it plenty of fuel just to get up this extra little bit. Come on, you can do it plain. 8,000 is quite high, I think, for a Cessna. But it seems we're doing okay. Uh, don't pull a door. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try not to. <laughs> Case. Okay, back for a bit. Got my drop. Uh, I'm gonna wait till they come back. Uh, Brilliant. Welcome back to six. Uh, so we're just um, uh, we're just uh, leveling off at eight thousand feet uh, in the Cessna one seven two on our way to North Wales. We set the uh, we set the ILS up pretty much ready for our uh, for our landing, even though we're we're quite far. And I've got a new follower. Hey, RDW77 is now following. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So. Okay. Coming up to 8,000 slowly. We're back to uh, sort of 80, 90 knots where I like it. Uh, we'll just back off this to zero once we hit the, uh, the magic number. Okay. Zero. So we're eight thousand feet. Uh, we can probably back off slightly, and um, we're going to trim the plane uh, ready for cruise. Just make sure everything's all nice and stable. I think trying to rush things when you're flying is that's when a lot of things happen, bad things happen. I think everything's got to be kind of stable 
before you can start messing around with anything. That's, what, that's how I've uh, sort of found these. Uh, life of a trucker. Uh, between the hours of 12 and 2 depends uh, on what else is winning uh, 2 and 4. That's it, so 6, yeah, yes sir. <laughs> um, oh. Going over. That's on 0. Okay, we're in the green. So now I'm going to trim the plane. So if you remember, you just pull this back until you start seeing a drop in the revs. There we go. And then you see the fuel flows right down. Uh, so we're, you know, we're going to be saving our fuel for the trip. So we're trimmed, ready for uh, for cruise. Um, and yeah, what a beautiful view. Here's the daisy flower mask. <laughs> the daisy flower mask. Um, I don't know, my wife, she suffers with a bit of anxiety, so this whole situation that we're in, uh, if it was up to her, I'd be wearing a full hazmat just talking to you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rookie mistake, knocking the mic. So yeah, um, just so you can see where we are, you're not going to see us on there just yet. Oh, another thing that's important. I don't know if you know about these charts. If you, if you, if you can read them, um, but um, what this is saying is that you, this is this here is the glide slope. Uh, so when you're on an ILS approach, you've got to be on this glide slope, um, and then basically what that means is the airport or the runway is going to guide you in into into land at the right uh, at the right altitude the, you know um, so it's important to get on that glide slope and and looking at a flat down you can't kind of see what what um, what uh, altitude uh, even though it does say it there but some of them don't say it there so you, you go here and it tells you and this is like the sort of side view of the glide slope as it were uh, so you can see at uh, just over 2,000 feet you hit the glide slope um, and then, you know, it, you can see it drops down and at an angle of 136. No, I don't write. No, yeah, 136 is this angle. Uh, but that angle, I don't know what the angle is. Uh, as in the, the down angle. Um, I don't know whether it needs to tell you. But anyway, it catches you here and it takes you all the way down to, uh, to, to the runway. Runway 31. Oh, here you go. I, ILSGS or descent angle is 3 degrees. Okay. So what so you hit that three degrees, you'll be down. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, it gives you some uh, eyeless ground speed. I don't know. No, I don't know. Don't know what that is. Uh, let's just check with our ATC to make sure we're. Uh, yeah, we're on. We're on track. We're just going through where we're we passing through now. Is it? Uh, Byton, uh, past Norton, Pilleth, yeah. We see some lovely big hills. Uh, I think that one there is the the reason why the um, the height restriction at six thousand five hundred is because I think we're passing over a big old uh, a big old hill or mountain. But uh, yeah, we're in the Welsh Valleys. Lovely. Uh, the bloom. How's the rugby season? Well, wow. it's, it's it's such a weird feeling at the moment. I'm a I'm uh, I'm really missing sport, <laughs> you know, um, and that's probably the hardest thing for me. Uh, I can do with uh, not having your, your you know your essential food and drink and stuff, but the the rugby and the sport, um, yeah, is is I am missing it. I'm missing it a lot, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but a good th yeah, somebody put on my WhatsApp uh, the other day about the sport, saying um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's probably the longest period of loss has been without losing all season, so <laughs> you know, every silver lining. Um Stockholm, I can still send you those uh, Listerine breath strips. <laughs> I wish you loved them. Yes. <laughs> well they got the devil's breath or something, they were, they were awful. Uh gosh, explosion uh, in your mouth. Uh, I don't have to wait that often to be fair, normally uh only Thomas Cup is on June and breaks. Uh, cool. Uh one season Newcastle do well in your thing. I oh, know, bro. It's it's the same, isn't it? You know, um 
I'm also uh, I'm more into my rugby than I am football. But uh, football wise, um, I suppose I'm a bit of a Liverpool fan. And um, and yeah, you know, they still haven't won the league, uh, even though they should. So uh, oh, excuse me. Just an, an advert. What do I want to say? Uh, to be hit the wall. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm not <laughs> Liverpool fan. Yeah, I know the blue. I know. I know. Uh, so quietly, uh, I know a Liverpool fan that hasn't mentioned football in the last hour I've been streaming or so. I don't even know what time, how long I've been streaming, but um, but yeah, we're we're a rare breed. <laughs> It's probably because we haven't won the league yet. We haven't, you know, technically we've, uh, yeah, we're still in limbo. But um, I'm sure someone's going to make a decision at some point. Can you hear the music at all, peeps? I have got music on, but I can't hear it. I think we'll avoid the season. I remember they're, ne they're never going to avoid the season. Um, it's uh, yeah, the, the money and everything else involved. Uh, it's, uh, it won't happen. It was just a matter of trying to um, trying to either play the games behind the scenes, uh, closed doors, or um, give everybody a nil nil, and then just see out the league that way. So. Yeah, no, no, it's it's. It, I, I I I totally understand, bro. It's uh, and every every league position is is a lot of money for every single team for TV rights and things like that. So, you know, one league position uh, position is is a big deal. Um, it's just uh, unfortunately it's uh, it's just strange times, isn't it? Uh, the computer's still running well. Um, the bloom. Hopefully this year, I was looking to to get rid. Uh, uh, and uh, basically build a new computer um, but obviously with the current thing how things are I don't know whether that's going to happen uh, or certainly not not at the moment but at the moment yeah the computer seems to be running okay um, it's um, I don't I'm, let me just check to see um, yeah um Live stats at the moment. I'll show you. Uh, oh, I dropped 32 frames. Uh, 2.8 percent, 60 frames a second. Yeah, 6,000. I'm not worried about. Yeah, 0.0 percent. So it's 32 drop frames. That may have been right at the start, but um, but yeah, the computer seems to be handling things quite well. Um, but uh, I, I do. I'm desperately. I do want a new computer at some point. Case. Uh, what happened? The stream abruptly ended for me. Uh, no, nope, st still. Hello, Are you still there? <laughs> Are you still with me, peeps? Let me just wave. Let's see if you're with me. Yes, still here. Fine for me. Brilliant. Okay. Cool. Panic over. Um, yes, it was a Threadripper build. Yeah, um, it was uh, the 1950X, I think it was. Uh, I know there's a Generation Two now, isn't there? That 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 come out, uh, which I'm I'm interested in. Um, I don't know. Part of me wants to stay away from AMD and maybe just stick with Intel and just get a big old i9 over or i7 overclock or something. I don't know. It depends. I'm kind of waiting, believe it or not, for the Microsoft's uh, flight sim uh, to see how that runs and see if it is going to be multiple. Um, you know, if it uses multiple CPUs, then the Threadripper would be perfect for it. Um, if it's only going to utilize one sort of CPU, then then um, yeah, I may just go for an i7 and uh, overclock or something. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> Input demon waves. Hello, I see you. Brilliant. Uh, well, Case IH is uh, unfortunately. I, uh, yeah, is he with us? He's, what happened? It abruptly ended. Sure. 
so yeah, uh, it is in the uh, pipeline, but uh, obviously with the uncertainties and stuff at the moment, I, I, I'm going to stick with this old beast, and uh, yeah, it's done me well. Um, it's caused me a lot of uh, headache and issues, um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, if you just joined us, we, uh, we're flying to North Wales uh, from Gloucester uh, in our little Cessna 172. We're doing a job. Uh, we're actually in a tutorial at the moment uh, for a program called On Air Company. And uh, we left Gloucester and we're heading all the way up to EGOV, which is uh, sort of the valley or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, valley. Um, and uh, we're going to make a, an ILS landing on runway 13 when we get up there. But uh, we're going to have a look at the Hollyhead and uh, ooh, right in there. It should be quite quite beautiful, especially with this clear day that we've got. Looks absolutely stunning out there. What perfect perfect time for flying. You see some of the uh, yeah some of the hills and things below us in the lovely part of the world, which is Wales. So good internet connection is going to be always important as good hardware. Aiden, yeah, that's that's right. Um, it's like um, the uh, the essentially, yeah, you, you'll be streaming, you know. So the the world below will be um, will be streamed, you know. So instead of having a hard drive with every you know everything loaded, uh, which is what we got at the moment, you know, you got gig, gigabytes and gigabytes of um, of scenery. Um, all you're doing is basically streaming the scenery from uh, a cloud, uh, the Microsoft cloud, um, while you're flying along. So um, the benefit of that is, is that you, you know, Microsoft are going to basically host, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, or maybe thousands of terabytes, or I don't know how much, but you know, really high resolution um, pixels scenery, uh, and essentially all you're doing is is basically just streaming. You know, a box around you, you know, in your visual range of, of high res, instead of having to load everything, it's only around the little box that you're in. Um, so, so yeah, you're right. It, it, it's it's going to be a, a good internet connection, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be good. Uh, in theory, the flight sim shouldn't be too useful as you're using the cloud platform, the Azure, for a lot of the rendering. Um, yes, exactly. Yeah, Aiden. Yeah, spot on. Um, so that's what I'm uh, I'm reading as well. I, I joined the um, uh, the Insider, uh, which is the um, you know to to be an alpha tester because I think they're out of beta now. They're in that alpha, um, but uh, I haven't uh, only get the call up. Uh, they've probably seen that I've got a thread ripper. I thought no, I'm not going anywhere near that one. Um, so. Uh, just uh, just getting some information from some of the uh, from some of the the Facebook and um, and other uh, avenues um, of people who are posting pictures and, and giving views which they're not supposed to. But it's it's looking really 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 good. Um, but yeah, uh, trusty X Plane Eleven um, is 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 still the, the best at the moment. Is the best flight sim. Uh, it's fairly stable, as you can see. It's fairly stable. I think I've ironed out all the little bugs uh, that I've had previously um, in the past, and um, and it's uh, touch wood. It's uh, it's as stable as it can be. First one. So we're 8,000 feet, uh, we're probably a little way away, there we go, we're here just by Newtown and Lan Landinam, Lan yeah, okay, <laughs> my, uh, my Welsh isn't the best, uh, I do know uh, what uh, microwave is in Welsh and that's um, Poppity Ping, <laughs> that's a true story. Uh, Poppy Ping is a microwave in Welsh. Araf is slow. Uh, that's that's as far as my Welsh goes. I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, sort of feet back, feet up. What was it feet up Wednesday? Chilling, doing a bit of flying. 
Yeah. Only downside to MS Flight Sim is not going to be a game you fully own, but rather rent the ability to play. Yeah, Jax. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's going to be a subscription. Um, but I don't mind that. To be to be honest, um, I don't mind that. If if you. Um, as long as they take a lot of the, you know, if you think about how much resources, say, X Plane Eleven takes here, you know, this thing, um, I don't even know what frames I'm getting at the moment. It seems quite smooth, but if we go here, frame rate showing cockpit, okay, I'm getting about 40 frames a second, which is well, 35, which is not too bad, but um, you need a pretty good computer to 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 run this at any sort of decent-ish level, and uh, if Microsoft can alleviate that that Anybody with it, you know, with the majority of um, of rigs, can uh, you know, you can play at a very very good level, but it is a subscription. Then sometimes you know that that might be a little bit better for people than having to spend thousands of pounds on a rig to make it look absolutely stunning, um, and and buy the game outright. Um, so I can see, I can see that, and also you know, you remember you know, flight sim. I, I'm the same as everybody. I, I imagine most people are. <clears throat> you go in like sort of fits and fads, you know, with um, with flight simming. So you can go like every day for for a month, just constantly playing it. Uh, but then you might have a break for a couple of weeks, and or a month, or, or two months. And then you know the nice thing is you just pause your subscription and then just carry it on, you know. Um, so I think I don't know. I, I, I'm not too bothered about the subscription side of things. That's um, what I'm saying. It's feet up year. It is yes. <laughs> Um, is feet up year? That's right. Uh, I think uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird, isn't it? Um, having no work and uh, streaming for you guys every day, I'm gonna love it. I won't want to go back to work. You know, work could be uh, calling me up. I'm busy. Yeah, we're, we're streaming. We're flying a little Cessna around uh, around Europe. Um, have they officially announced that it'd be subscription based? Aiden, I think I think. Well, I don't know whether they've. They may have, I don't know. All I know, the rumour mill, <laughs> uh, the rumour mill is that uh, it will be a uh, subscription. I, I, I imagine you might have two options. You might have, have to pay for it and or subscription. I, yeah, at this point, uh, Aiden, I don't 100% know. But, um, but yeah, it'd be uh, interesting. Uh, take it from me. You'll have to be stuck in for a week. You can't wait to get back. Well, no, in a, in a weird way, you know, we're we're in this isolation, this weird time, these crazy times at the moment. Um, the good news is, is that you know that we're all still interacting, you know, with my e friends, my my internet friends, and yeah, um, it, you don't feel so isolated, you know, you you feel, you know, you you just chilling out, you know, in your own house with with everybody. So, um, yeah, I, I I'm I'm certainly uh, I'm certainly not feeling too, you know too bad about this uh well what are you doing playing oh i know i know uh right let me just look at something <laughs> uh, there is a button you press There's a button you need to press in order to get the gyro directional adjustment, and I think that's what's causing. Uh, so align the button uh, to realign with DG uh, directional gyro. So if we go in here, uh, keyboard gyro. Under DG, 
vacuum uh, sink. Okay, D. So if you press D while you're flying, you'll see this thing go crazy in a minute. Oh, there you go. It just puts you back, back on course. So that's the button I forgot to press. Yeah, you press D, and it just syncs up your uh, your, your your gyro to to this thing or something. Oh no, I've actually broken it. What are you doing? What have I done? I knew it was going too well. Go left. That's it. Is that going to be okay? Uh, yeah, I'll respect the subscription. I agree with you, Sucker. You might have to invest in a to run it the highest level you can instead of running it. I'm sure it's going to cost them quite a bit, so you pay me for the benefit. That's it. That's how I look at it, anyway. Um, oh, well, Run. Rumsey, how you doing? Hope you're well. Uh, I'm kind of. No, don't press that button. Okay. Come on, Nav. Play the game. Go left. Go right. Okay, I think we're okay now. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. You adjust something, and it just throws everything off. Oh, throws your man. Um, uh, take it from me. You still want to be stuck in for a week? Can't wait to get back. Uh, I said that's the message. Uh, I think about ten years ago. <laughs> so hopefully now we're going to follow. Come on, get back on. Turn, turn. Yeah, we are turning. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, yeah, I, th I think so. I think the benefit of not having to spend thousands on uh, on you know the highest hardware you can possibly buy um, to pay for, a, as long as the subscription is is reasonable amount a month uh, and it isn't. Uh, it isn't too crazy. I certainly want to be paying more than, I don't know, uh, 10, 15 pounds a month, or maybe a bit more. The thing is, there's a lot of money in flight sim, and um, you know, people are willing to pay a lot of money. Uh, so, if Microsoft are going to be doing all the, um, you know, the planes themselves and uh, really high quality, and you know, then they I suppose they could charge a bit more. For the subscription, um, because it kind of puts the modding out of uh, out of business. Which, you know, the flight simming community at the moment, the, the modding, you know, really does keep keep it going. Um, but uh, but we'll see. It'd be interesting, interesting times, for sure. Um, okay, well, we're eight thousand feet. Uh, let's see where we are on the old map. We are here. We had a bit of a wobble around uh, Le Lambrin Brimaire. And we're going past Glantz Ravin. <laughs> yep. That's my uh, that's my Welsh coming out of me. Um, yeah, and then we're going to go over these big mountains here, or hills, and uh, make our way over to Hollyhead and down. I've actually been to Hollyhead, it's a beautiful place. The sea is really rough right now, it's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, yeah, here's some of the hills that we've seen in the, on the map. Uh, they're quite high. We had a height restriction of 6,500. And uh, let me go outside. What a beautiful day! There's no not a cloud in sight. I've got real weather uh, on. Uh, I use a program called uh, AS. Um, this program um, to do all the weather, uh, gives you all the information. Uh, it's also you know, a map and it tracks you where your plane is and everything else. And you can input your flight plan and, and things like that. So, um, new follower, uh, only on 22. How you doing? Active Sky, that's a good one. Active Sky XP. So I use that for the weather and it um, tries to mimic the real world weather. And yeah, this is it. You know, at this precise moment, this is what the world's like. It's uh, very 
such a very nice coming up to the coast as you can see the coast but it looks just incredible you know, I, I love the look of this flight sim and when uh, the Microsoft flight comes out it's gonna it's gonna be even better but uh, O'Neill22 thank you so much for the follow really really appreciate it uh, you guys are the best so yeah we're just chilling out relaxing uh, flying to North Wales from Gloucester in the UK and uh, we're in our little sort of default Cessna 172 um, because if you've just joined us um, I am using a program called On Air Company and um, what these guys do is uh, basically generate jobs for you and you basically run an airline company and um, you can hire staff you can um, buy planes and things like that so all your modded planes and stuff uh, it's got to go through this and at the moment we're just doing the tutorial to get uh, some money and you get a free prop plane which was sell um, so then so I can't use my uh, my A2A Cessna at the moment I have to use a default X plane um, but um, but once we uh, completed the tutorial we can sell the plane we can buy ourselves I want to buy myself a, Bonan a Bonanza F33 um, I've, I've got that one I do love flying that plane so um, we're going to buy that one to start with and uh, do some do some missions get some money up together uh, and the more missions you do uh, you get skill points and you can um, you put points in the skill points to get you know so you can hire staff you can practically do uh, do a lot of other things so so yeah um, hey we're at 69 how you doing hope you're well thanks very much for coming along and uh, and joining us in the back seat here of our Cessna 172 uh, it's getting a bit full now. I'm not quite sure how many people we got uh, we got here, uh, but we're coming up to uh, to the coast of North Wales. Uh, we'll be coming past the area around and then flying back down uh, over there somewhere. Uh, runway 13. I'll show you the route. Are we going? There we go. I don't know whether I'm on there yet. Uh, no, aircraft is outside the sharp bounds. Okay, so what we're doing is we're flying up to this place called Alpha. Uh, we won't need to do won't need to do any holds or anything, and then we're going to take this lovely arc, the 12 DME arc, all the way up here to um, to the uh, glide slope, and then follow that in into Valley. So uh, 136 108.55, and we set the OBS here at uh, 136. Hopefully. That looks more like it, but ish. One three six, and um, the V lock is one oh eight point five five. Just wanna just take that one. see if we can hear. See if we can hear the the signal to see if we've picked it up. But uh, yeah, so I hope you're all well, um, and uh, thanks for sort of joining us today. It's been good. And uh, yeah, we might do this every day uh, while we're in uh, as we're in isolation. Um, but uh, if there's any other games that you want to see, I can let you know. Oh yeah, see in the corner here, uh, the EGDX. Yeah, we're not going there. We're going to EGOV. Um, the software I use to display the uh, the information, unfortunately, hasn't got EGOV in its database. So. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a lie, just in case you're wondering. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> just broken your headphones. Um Yeah. Gotta remember that uh, that mic's there. <laughs> Keep hitting it. Uh, so the EGFD is below is coming up below us. Um so we go to view outside. We might be able to see. Oh, look at that. that is beautiful. Look at it. It's just incredible. Honestly, I love this game. Uh, it should be a airport in front of us at some point. I can't see it. I don't know. But how amazing does that look? Oh look! I get all excited. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. 
And um Yeah. Yeah, it looks really cool. So yeah, uh, I mentioned at the start of the stream, I don't know if, uh, in case you've uh, joined, uh, my farming sim, uh, Let's Play. Uh, I was going to play that today. Um, I loaded up the first... Cessna 8 Alpha Papa Contact Valley Approach on 125.22. Have a nice day. Approach on 125.22 Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. So that will automatically change. There you go, 125.22. Pilot to ATCs is, is, is my... Uh, is my co-pilot today, so he's doing all the the manual things like changing the frequency. Approach Cessna 8 Alpha Papa at flight level 080. There we go. Cessna so, 8 oh. Alpha Papa, good afternoon. Radar contact. There we go. It's just saying that, yep, he's picked us up. He can see us on the little radar, uh, so we're not going to, you know, so he knows where we are. What, um, he knows what height we are and everything else. So, fingers crossed, he'll tell us uh, to do something in a bit, because uh, we need to descend quite rapidly to get down to the 2,000 feet for the glide slope um, but um, yeah so as I was saying about the farmer sim uh, save well I loaded it up it all looked to be working I was like brilliant okay because it's been a few a few months um, and um, I uh, got familiar with how things are left over I watched the last video and um, great so I saved it and it hung and I thought oh gosh so um I looked into the files, the save one file, and it deleted everything. So unfortunately, it's corrupted. And I, I tried all the backups. You know, the in, in Farmer Sim, if you go into the documents, it has all these save game backups. And I tried all them, and I just could not get the game to save. Uh, I can get it to load, but whatever we do, we, we couldn't couldn't save. So, excuse me. Um, so uh, so yeah, it's been um, that was a shame. That was a that was a, a big shame. But. Uh, but yeah, it is, it is what it is, so we may need to start that again uh, at some point. But if you want to see some farming sim on the stream, uh, let me know. Uh, probably best it get, get on Twitter um, and uh, just give us some ideas of what games you want to see. And and uh, as we're in this isolation thing, I think we're going to just have a few hours a day of, of chilling out, relaxing, and uh, yeah, do some flying and farming. Uh, how's the flight going? Had an aneurysm. Yeah, Case, okay, so we're still here. Uh, Wait, right, Barbie. No, uh, the blue. No, <laughs> never again. Uh, although Dura would love, you would love to see me do uh, do the Barbie Barbie Dream House. Uh, the flight's going well. Uh, we're at, we're fairly north of Wales at the moment. Um, I'll show you where we are. Uh, we're here. We're at um, diff, different Audrey. <laughs> Uh, if you're Welsh, I apologise. Um, yeah, uh, Dyfin, Dyfin, or Dudry, Dyfin or Dudry. <laughs> we're here. Uh, beautiful. Going over across here, looking back at these. Ma oh, was yeah, it's incredible. Let me show you. Just uh, let me go outside. External circle. Oh, look at some of the texturing around there is just absolutely stunning Oops. oh there's the airfoil there we go there's the airfoil that was going past um, so yeah we're just going over the sea now the Irish Sea and uh, come up around here and I think we're going to be landing over here somewhere so uh, yeah fun times there we are Oh no, we're going to be landing way up there. Okay. Uh, is this the base game or DLC? Uh, Jax, it's a. Um, well, it's X Wing 11, but you've got uh, Orbit. It's got Orbit scenery. Um, so, and. and um, so my plugins, I've got um, cabin crew. It just talks about you know if you wanted a cabin crew, um, traffic global. Um, so this thing's pretty cool. It, it just puts uh, planes in the sky for you. So if you click on this easy jet, you can kind of see um, 
the EasyJet going across, you know, and Jet Two, uh, Emirates, uh, Turkish Airlines. It just makes the 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 air seem populated, as it were. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm leaving my phone on because technically I'm still at work. So if you hear it goes off, uh, I I apologize. Um, but yeah, you can see the Turkish you know, airlines is flying kind of up that way, at, you know, quite high up. But um, yeah, so I've got that as a as a as a mod. Um, X camera is a camera plugin. Uh, Reality XP is um, yeah, you can't use it on this one, but I'll show you uh, on on certainly on my Bonanza the the XP. It look it, it's brilliant. Aeroflab uh, Aerofoil Labs is for the A two A better pushback just basically pushes back the aircraft if you're at a gate um, so I haven't got too much uh, and just some scenery add-ons and, that, and that's it really mate um, it, uh, you don't need too much to make the sim look really good um, uh, here's the flight going uh, oh, uh, talk to Shaman about the Minecraft and the server yeah bro uh, I don't know is that server still up and running the one that we had going what last year or the year before I can't remember mate. Um, they all roll into one uh, I know we had a bit of a breakdown with the server, uh, as in it, uh, the RAM was just going through the roof. So I, I thought that server died, but uh, Bob is banned. That's right. Uh, maybe try, maybe try a fishing game. Oh, there we go. Yeah, fishing game. I haven't really thought. Uh, yeah, I did a bit of fishing in real life, uh, especially as you know. I was going to say is back in the day uh, as a kid, uh, I used to uh, fish a lot in the canals and. Um, catch a, a boot every now and then it was uh, it was a lot of fun um, and for the soccer harassment continues now. <laughs> oh you uh, you're not with us case are you still with us or, or I don't know uh, I'm sure the harassment will continue when you come back um, yeah so uh, yeah Jack's this um, yeah you don't need too much uh, to, to make the game look uh, you know, or to run pretty well um, but uh, I do love little things like the, you know, the, the sun on the water and stuff, and, and I do I, I do like it looking, looking quite nice. Shaman took over if you want to send me a message and talk about it. Yep, sounds good, bro. Um, it'd be nice to see how the world's evolved. Uh, you know, maybe do a video of it or something. You know, from from way back when. No, there's no, there's no, no, uh, the bloom, there's no, uh, there's no bullion, mate. Uh, yeah, it's all good fun, all good fun. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm made up, the stream's uh, sort of running well, we haven't had any crashes just yet. I know we haven't landed yet, but... Let me just check to make sure we're all in the green. Okay, so fuel flow, yeah, EGT, yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. Uh, pressure, temperatures, okay. Amps, vacuum, yeah. We are slightly high. Let's bring that down. So I'm hoping now um, we're going to get um, we're going to get a call in a minute. So what we're doing this is so on here. If you don't know, um, TOD is a top of descent. So normally when you reach this point here, so this is the highest point, and you put a little marker here. So this is going to be the highest point that we get to. Uh, so we're at 8,000, which is our cruising uh, altitude, because some of these hills are quite high, and I think we've got uh, an ultra an altitude restriction of 6500 so we're flying across we get to this 8000 boom and um, and then they're going to ask us to go down to about 6500 uh, and then we've got this basically this sweeping curve to uh, to get down uh, to basically 2000 feet so from here all the way around here we've got to get to about 2000 feet ready to catch the glide slope and then land here at, uh, at Valley so that's the uh, that's that's the plan. Uh, top of descent uh, estimate time of I think it should be A, shouldn't it? ETA estimate time of arrival. 
Uh, five minutes. Uh, destination is about 35 minutes. So we're about half hour, and we'll be uh, should be wheels on the floor. Hey, stock, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing, regardless of what the shape the plane's in. Case, there, there's never a truer word that was said, especially with me <laughs> flying a plane. Um, I do need to practice on my landings, uh, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not very good. And, um, yeah, we, we, we just have to see what happens. Just want to get the, uh, the altitude correct. Um, we just have to see, <laughs> have to see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, because I got about, yeah, I think mean, it's 33 people uh, watching, so uh, we're all sort of packed up in here. Uh, all of us are all uh, sort of breathing and, 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 you know, sitting on each other, all packed in the back of the Cessna. Cessna and, 8 uh, Alpha Papa, expect the ILS approach to runway 13 with the Alpha transition at Valley. Expect the ILS approach to runway 13 with the Alpha transition Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. Cool. Well, that's been confirmed. So we are doing this uh, ILS 13. So we're at the Valley, EGOV, Valley, uh, and this is for the ILS Valley DME runway 13. Um, that's the. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's just runway 13. This is part. Don't know. SRA. No, it is. Sometimes too much information can really confuse you. I can read this one, so I know what this one is. But uh, are we on the? Yep, yeah, there we are. We're on the map. Okay, so we're heading up to this point here, and then we're going to do that. We have to wait and see. Uh, proximity to the point alpha boundary. You see some of these warnings on the map, uh, some heights. But yeah, hopefully they tell us what to do. A tip you land in, look all the way down the runway once you start pulling back. Ah, earn or sleep, there we go, thank you very much. Well, wow, that's, uh, we'll have to give that a try. So it's like, uh, uh, um, earn or sleep, I, I suppose what you, what you mean by that is, you know like, uh, I don't know if you've ever ridden a motorbike, uh, I suppose a push bike to a certain extent, but the bike goes wherever your head looks. So if you, you know, if you're looking left, then you'll tend to lean, you know, tend to go left, and right. Um, I suppose it's very similar when you're flying a plane. I suppose if you're looking at the top, you, you know, you're not looking at the bottom. You know, you're not dipping the nose down too hard, and possibly. But um, we will see what happens. I'm fairly confident that I can get down with like a big ball of flames. But, but as you guys know me, uh, anything, anything can happen. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, is my landing better than my front loading skills, the balloon? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're all in trouble. So uh, what I might ask is, uh, you know, can you all don your seatbelts in the back here? Uh, because it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a scary, uh, scary landing. Um, so this is an airplane car. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it's certainly something, uh, or Ramsey, but uh, we'll find out what once once we um, once we uh, once we get down there. Uh, I don't think there's room for 33 people. Yeah, they're all fitting in. Kind, of, you know, everyone's uh, sort of fitting in, uh, fitting in nice and uh, nice and packed in the back there. Uh, is that the current get my private pilot's license? I'm going to to tell you it helps so much. Ah, brilliant. Ah, I don't know. Okay, you're you're the resident expert then. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to do is get my uh, PPL, um, but um, yeah, I, I just haven't uh, haven't done anything about it. You know, it's one of those those things as, as a wish list, uh, but um, but we'll see. We're, we're one day, one day. Uh, okay, so on here you can see got this arc coming up, and that's where we're coming in. Cool. So we're just waiting really on the ATC to tell us we should be top of descent. It should direct us now down. It should say, can you please go down to 6,500? That's the plan. Oh, new subscriber. Oh, Ramsey, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate Cessna it. Cessna 8 thank Alpha you. Papa descent and maintain flight level 065. 
There we go. Descend and maintain flight level 065 Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. Okay. So now we're descending. I am going to put the throttle on full. Uh, uh, the, sorry, the mixture on full. Uh, just in case we need to get out of dodge. Um, and I'm pulling back on the... Um, on the throttle uh, we're gonna try and get down fairly quick I'm, I'm a bit cautious because we're quite high up um, but um, I think we get down to about 6500 as I said so that we're on our descent uh, so I'm just looking making sure we're not over speeding we're okay here uh, pull back on the throttle by quite a bit we're still in the green and, uh, and we're slowly uh, descending from the skies oh exciting it is, isn't it? The landing. The, the landing is the excitement. But Cessna you know, 8 Alpha Papa QNH is 1023 at Valley cleared for the ILS approach to runway 13 at Valley with the Alpha transition. QNH is 1023 cleared for the ILS approach to runway 13 with the Alpha transition Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. There we go. I think that's right. 1023. 1023. Okay. Um... So, what I say, I actually really enjoy the um, the setting up of the plane. Um, so, you know, all the um, you know all the the charts and the ATC, you know, everything that you've seen at the start. Um, I really enjoy all that side of things as well. So, um, you know, and, and and obviously the cruise and, and and where we're going. You know, that's the way you sort of sit sit back, feet up, and have a good chin mag. Um, but uh, but yeah, I do I do love the the start of it as well as the landing. But yeah, the landing's a fun bit, isn't it? You know, I know a lot of you are probably going to come on, crash. You know, big ball of flames. But uh, in, in reality, I, I think um, I think I'll be alright. I think I'll be alright. Hey, so is there going to be another Fox in multiplayer event? Case, that's a good idea. Um, I actually did think about uh, possibly um, you know doing a doing a, a charity. Uh, stream maybe get some of the old people back on board and and, and see if we can do like a 24-hour thing depending but um, it's a thought I haven't gone any further than that uh, you know just to help out uh, some peeps during this uh, during this tough time but yeah I haven't had any, any I haven't even spoke to anybody about it I, I, so I don't know I don't know is the answer I suppose I'm just taking each day as it comes with work as well so um, we'll uh, we'll see if this thing goes on uh, then then yeah I'm sure we could do something together. Um, <laughs> yeah, fingers. <laughs> just, just yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, Old Rums is telling me. Uh, fuel mixture for the blown uh, for the brown alert moments. That's it. Just in case, you know. You, the last thing you do, you, you don't want to strangle the engine if you have to make an, uh, an emergency maneuver and uh, get get out of dodge. So, I tend to stick it on. Uh, you know, full uh, full lean mixture. Um, we're using a bit more fuel, but uh, we're, we're backed right off. You can see there the fuel flow is quite back, um, and we're, we're descending quite nicely at 100 knots. Um, and uh, oh, we're, oh, we're at seven and a half. So we've got another thousand to go. Uh, a few of us are hanging out on the Discord if you want us to join us. I haven't fired up the Discord for so long, Ironbrew. Um, no, you've gone the wrong way. Why are you going left? You need to go right. Go right. Go right. Turn right. Turn right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. So... We need to go direct to there. <laughs> He's not. He doesn't want to do it. Come on, game. Right. Okay. We we'll do this the hard way. Come on to head in. Uh, we we'll try and get back onto to where we need to go. So we're still descending uh, quite nicely. Everything's in the green, and uh, we're coming down to six thousand five hundred, which is what we've been asked to do. We're just following, just trying to follow this line really. Uh, once we get to in INTC, we'll go 
that way. So I'm just manually flying. I'm in heading mode at the moment. Uh, I will put it back into into. Uh, it's just a real sharp turn, and I think the uh, the sat nav kind of got a little bit confused. But what we're going to do is we're going to go here, and now we're going to head head up. Where are we going? We're going to go to the D D three six zero L. Yeah. So then we enter that, activate uh, flight plan. So we're going to go head up that way. There you go. You should turn left in a minute. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. No, you're not. You're supposed to be heading up to D three oh six. Come on. Play the game. No, it doesn't want to do it. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm on heading mode. Okay, <laughs> that'll do. It. Okay, nearly, uh, yeah, nearly blame the game. Uh, nav mode. Ah, oh, loco for port. Sorry, I was in the wrong screen. Yep, yep, you're right. That's that's what was happening. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh, we're at 5,000 as well. Um, 5,500, so we need to stop. We've got to get to... Let me just double check. Okay. I'm going to continue down to 2000 um, because the thing's got a little bit confused. So let's go down. We're going to go into 2000, 2040. Uh, we're heading up at the moment. I'll show you where we are. We're not doing this lovely curve because the sat nav kind of got a bit weird, but we are making our way up to this D306 and then we'll take a bit of a curve and then we'll get down onto the uh, glide slope. That's the plan. That's where we're at. And uh, everything's in the green, which is good, 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 good. Yeah. And you can see there, we're just going straight to the D3, and then we'll be coming down. Once we're set up on this bit here, uh, once we get around about here, we'll start really slowing down. And once we're here, we'll swap it over to uh, to the uh, ILS. Uh, and then the ILS which should take us in quite nicely. Uh, we're under 5,000 feet. We'll try. I know, um, yeah, they haven't really told me, but the trouble is the ATC sometimes gets a little bit confused. And already it thinks that I'm at e, you know, EGOV. Um, so <laughs> I think, so, yeah, I think it thinks I'm here. So it's not going to tell me to to uh, you know to to drop my uh, altitude. So I'm, I'm kind of just doing it myself. Get down to about 2,000, and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, tractor walls. Uh, in all my X-plane attempts, I've never managed to figure this stuff out. Aiden, it takes a while. Um, there's some really good uh, tutorials on 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 the on the tube. Uh, I would uh, definitely. Am I hearing that? Uh, it's kind of live. So uh, yeah, um, there's some tutorials uh, which are really really good. Uh, I would definitely recommend um, just setting out some time and just going through and and then what I tend to do I've got two monitors so I, I you know I'd have the, the, the tutorial video here and I will kind of mimic what he's doing and tr just trying to pick it up that way it, it does make a lot of sense once you get your uh, your mind into it okay so we're starting to creep out on speed wise so I'm just backing up on the Throttle. 
Uh, Alex, I think you're going to explain it. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Uh, I'll try to, try to explain it the best I can. <laughs> Sometimes the sim does weird, weird and wonderful things that you don't expect. Um, that's where I get in a, in a bit of a flap. But if it kind of goes all nice and smooth, then then happy days. But, uh, but yeah. Um, fingers crossed we can land on the right airport <laughs> without being in a big ball of flames. That's that's ultimately the, the goal. Um, we will uh, we'll see. Uh, tractor walls and making a perfectly healthy. Tractor walls, yeah. Well, farming's still there, uh, still going strong. Um, yeah, so we need them more now than ever. Okay, so we're coming up to 3,000. So we've got 1,000 to go, nearly. We're at uh, the right speed, back to right off on the throttle. Uh, and we're now just going to make this turn. I don't know how the Satna's going to. Approach this, but um, yeah, we we'll see. So let me just. What I'm doing is I'm uh, really trying to take the speed out of it. I want to get to around about seventy as we do that turn. So I'm taking the throttle way back, trying to reduce the speed because what I don't want to do is is hit this quite fast and kind of off shoot and then come back down and then basically what you're doing is you'll be going like this trying to get back onto the glide slope so if I slow down here there's a that curve is going to be less and there's a good chance I'm going to hit the glide slope at the right time so but what you be careful of because you're backing right out on the uh, on the throttle is that when you start leveling off um, obviously you need to put the engines back on otherwise you you would uh, yeah Otherwise, you sink, which is not great. <laughs> okay, so we're at 80 knots, which is great. So I'm using a, a, a SciTech uh, X56 um, joystick and uh, throttle, if, uh, if you was wondering. Coming at 2000. Uh, me personally, I will keep the speed in during the turn because the steeper the turn, the slower you are, the higher the stall speed is. Ah, okay. That's uh, understood. Okay, so I'm just edging at the throttle now because we're coming up to our, our uh, where we need to be. Uh, so we're bringing the nose up, um, putting the power on to try and keep the speed around about 80 knots. There we go. So we're living out, living out about 80 knots. Power's on. Okay, we should be making the turn very soon. There we go. I was hoping to hear the. Uh, the beeping from from the nav from nav one, uh, but I'm not hearing it. I don't know whether I need to have that pressed or not. I don't know whether that mutes it or that allows the sound. I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, we're at the right heights. Going to be making a turn very soon, hopefully. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna be doing this by hand. I think um, I don't trust the sat nav. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it on on Cessna Eight Alpha Papa QNH is one zero two three at Valley Contact Tower on one two two point one. Enjoy. QNH is one zero two three Tower on one two two point one Cessna Eight Alpha Papa. So I'm moving this needle here to bring this in line uh, don't know why the glow slope should be we should start seeing this come alive in a minute fingers crossed we're at 2000 
I'm at the right speed. Now we know that that angle there is 136. So what we do is we bring this to around about here. And we should be somewhere handy. I'm waiting for this to come alive. It should come alive because we've 108.55 uh, 136 on the OBS. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa descend via the Alpha Transition to 2,000 feet. Descend to 2,000 feet via the Alpha Transition. Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. It's not live. I don't know why it's not live. Right. Flaps 1. I'm going to try and drop some speed out of this just so I can kind of get established because I'm not established yet. I've, I've activated the approach. Um, but I'm just waiting for things to come live because this isn't live. Uh, all sleep. What am I doing wrong here? Why isn't this going live? I've got the 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 OBS. Uh, OBS. Oh, hang on. That's my store warning. Whoops. Oh, I'm making a right pig's ear of this. Right. Let's try. We're going to have to hand pull this in, I think. Okay. I was expecting to catch the, uh, the glide slope there, but... Uh, not doing it. Yeah, bets would be now because uh, yeah, things are we're hand flying, which isn't great. Um, we can't even see the airport lights yet. Just trying to tr have manually trim, trim the plane. Okay. Need to drop some altitude. Yeah, this isn't like technically by the book, uh, peeps. Um, I was hoping to do a, uh, an ILS landing. This isn't an ILS landing, <laughs> but uh, we're okay. We're okay for the moment. I just want to see the. I just want to be able to see the air, uh, the the airport, or at, you know, at the very least, the. Uh, Runway. So I've got the aircraft fairly well trimmed. And uh, according to the uh, the old sat nav, the airport is up right here somewhere. The runway, we're on course ish I'm just waiting to see the lights there's something called puppy lights um, which I'm looking for which is the red and white lights I don't know if you've ever seen them um, but um, basically they tell you whether you're too high or too low uh, so it's like a visual guide slope really um, so I'm just trying to kind of slow right down so I can see them uh, it should be along here somewhere uh, Alex, you'll be fine. Thank you, mate. <laughs> you got a lot of uh, confidence in me. Um, I think I'm just dropping a bit too much. It's hard to, it's hard to call it. 
with the old altitude because you can't see the puppy lights but it should be there in front of us somewhere don't know if anybody else can see it Can't be that many places. <laughs> it's a very small bit of a uh, bit of land. Um, it's there somewhere. I think we're a little bit away. Is, is it going past the? Ah, I see it. I see. I see the wrong way. There it is. Okay. Actually, I didn't do too bad a job there. I can see the two. Do you see the two whites and two reds? Uh, that's yeah. I didn't do too bad a job there. I'm quite. Uh, so what I do is we trim it now. Get onto an angle. And uh, we should be okay. There we go. So all we're looking for really is. Uh, sorry, I can't see chat, but. Just trying to get these two two white lights on the left, two red lights on the right. Uh, once we've done that, we know that we're we're okay. So we've got three white white lights. I think we're a little bit high, so we're just dropping a bit of altitude. Wait until we see the two red lights. Cessna eight Alpha Papa winds are two four four at six knots clear to land runway one three. Okay, so we're clear, clear to, to land out. runway 13 Cessna 8 Alpha Papa. Still got to take some altitude. Weed like calm. Take some. There we go. Okay. Right. Yeah, the haze does make it uh, um, does make it quite hard to see the the lights in the airport. Okay, I'm a little bit low and fast as well. Just. Take some speed out of that. Oh. You have to stay on the screen. <laughs> okay, we're at full flaps. I should have done that earlier. Take some speed. Don't stall it. Keep going. We're doing okay. We're okay at the moment. See the concentration in my face. <laughs> uh, white on white, you're right aside. Yeah. I'm trying to get down. There we go. Two white. Oh, three red. Th red is you dead, I think. I think we're going to be okay here. This looks to be a pretty big runway. So I'm looking. I'm looking at the end of the runway. Um, there we go. Come on. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, we're back in the air. When able. Okay. Well, that was a very bouncy. Very, very bouncy. <laughs> Landing time logged. Oh, God. Landed at Echo Golf Oscar Victor we got there. Valley. We got there. Okay, I'm going to lift up, yeah. Lift up the flaps. Well, peeps, <laughs> I forgot to cut the power. Uh, yeah, you're right. I, uh, I left the power on, so we just come in at power and went bonk, bonk, and then I turned the power off, and then, uh, yeah, we kind of had a, a normal landing, so. Oh. But we're there. We're alive. Uh, yeah, the suspension on the plane probably needs to be looked at. Um, but, uh, oh, this is our turn off. So we just slow down and yeah, we made it. Well, we got some uh, yeah, got some whiplash, but we're we're okay. So let's just put the uh, put the handbrake on, and we're gonna put our uh, landing lights off, taxi lights on. Um, yeah, and then basically we park up. So we speak to our. Uh, so I'll bring this over. Um, 
So you can bring your, your ATC up. So you're saying that you're requesting, uh, so we want to park. Um, Is it London intention? Uh, request. Ah, no, we, we need to speak to uh, ground. Um, yeah, one, two, two. Oh, we're speaking to them. Normally, there's uh, an option to. Um, to see where we're going to park, but we're just, yeah, don't worry about that now. Let's just find somewhere to park. But yeah, brilliant. Uh, well done. Uh, you got some whiplash, but we're live. Oh no, the suspension will be fine. I've had worse landings than that. Oh, earn all sleep. Thank you. <laughs> You're being too kind. Uh, we'll see you. Uh, I'll be, I'll be suing you for whiplash. Well, there's thirty odd people in the back of the uh, the Cessna, you know, so we're all fine. You know, we all had a, a lot of cushion, <laughs> you know, cushioned against, uh, I don't know which way to go. So what I'm going to do, let me just pause up here, uh, bring it up this, uh, have a look at taxi, airport information, and then we can see where we go. So I don't know, we're, we're, we'll say that we're being parked at, um, yeah, ASP 11, uh, it's close, so let's, uh, let's follow that. Right, ready to jump into an A380 now. <laughs> case, yeah, I'm sure that that's the case. Um, yeah, with that landing of 36 people in it, definitely the bloom. Yeah, well, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad, was it? It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. You know, it was a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a jump. But um, let me see if we put that in there so you can see where I am. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, I bet it's too if it's uh, any consolation uh, working on making it softer. Jack, if, if I would have taken power off on that first bounce, I think I would have been okay. Um, I just left power on, uh, hence the reason why the plane wanted to take off again. <laughs> it just wanted to keep going. Uh, it wasn't until I took the power off that, um, you know, is this a runway? It shouldn't be a runway here, should it? Okay. It's a runway. Uh, I can't see anything because I'm too high up in the chair, but uh, we'll keep going. And, um, yeah. It wasn't too bad. Uh, I once watched a guy in a Cessna 152 hard uh, on the nose gear. He hit it so hard, he pushed the front gear about six inches up into the engine compartment. And bent tip to the front. Wow. Okay. But it wasn't that bad. There was a bit of a bounce. <laughs> Always take power off when you cross the threshold. Yes, yes, that's what I didn't do. So, in in some respects, I'm, I'm not too upset because I kind of know what I've done wrong. Um, and if I would have taken the power off, I think I would have been. Um, I think that would have been a very good landing. Um, well, that's what I'm going for anyway. Hey, the great gamer, cheered! Thank you so much, Gray. Hope you're well. Hope you're staying safe. And uh, yeah, long time no speak, buddy. Yes, we're all well. We're all well. Thank you, Gray. Yeah. Okay. Find somewhere to park. We can park off any of these, I guess. Uh... Oh. Okay, we'll just park up here. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I, I don't. I, that landing was. was wasn't. Uh... Wasn't too bad. Swing it around. Oh, we're good. Let's just park him up here. Cool. Okay, handbrake's on. Um, now we've got to turn this bad boy off. Just quite easily. You just basically put it back on the uh, on the engine lean mob. Um, there we go. Engine stops. Engine off time logged. Turn End off, of flight. Uh, off Registered that, off in on-air company. Turn off that. Turn off that. That's all off. Turn off your avionics. And turn off your master batteries. Oh, hang on. There we go. 
and then Tiki Key out. Happy days. All right, cool. We have made it back. We've made it back safe. Well, I say back. We've made it here safe and sound. Uh, parked up. Uh, air, airplane is now cold and dark. Uh, it was crazy. Planes are pretty tough. Luckily, it didn't talk the plane, which would require a complete overhaul. Yeah, they, they're, they're designed to bounce. They're designed to bounce. Okay, you see here we got this notification from on air to say the job's finished. The goods transport uh, 105 pounds payment for cargo, and their flight registered as well. So that's what you want to see. So if you go to our, our on air company, you can see their, um, you know, uh, uh, company you know reputation change and things. Now what's interesting is when you buy an aircraft, every flight you do you have um, conditions. So it tells you what condition the engine was at the start, and every flight, you know, and and if I would have really damaged this freight, uh, damaged the plane, you'd have had a, probably a bigger, bigger condition of minus point two two than than I currently have. So that could be like three, four, five, twenty, fifty, eighty two percent, you know, the planes totaled. So what I've got left here is seventy five point seven eight, eighty one point seven five uh, eight. Um, and you've got to make sure that the plane is, you've got your hundred hour check, uh, you've got to make sure it's MOT'd and all that, uh, and also that the condition is, is okay, otherwise you'll stop. <laughs> otherwise it does mimic uh, failures. If the plane will accept it, the A2A uh, Cessna does accept failures, then this will mimic some failures, and what you'll find is that you know, you're know you flying along on cruise, and then all of a sudden the engine just stops You know if you don't keep this up. So, um, so yeah, valid fight, happy days, brilliant. Um, and we can go back here, and you can see there we are uh, in the uh, yeah top of Wales, so uh, northwest Wales. We flew from Gloucester to Wales. Happy days. Let's take these off. Cool. Um, I think now that yeah, there's a tutorial. So go to status. Uh, you now have the basis to get your flight. So claim my reward. So we're going to get an aircraft for our main company, and we're also going to get seven and a half grand as well. So we claim. Uh, claim my rewards and go back to lobby. There we go. And uh, yeah, tutorial tick. So if we go into our world now, classic world. Um, and there we go. Okay, so this is the the. Well, I think we're in the game now. And. Um, what plane have we got? So we go to my company, we go to my aircraft, and they've given us a Cessna, uh, which is great. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to sell this Cessna. We don't want that Cessna. Uh, if we go aircraft details, so here you go. You see a picture. Uh, gives you some information of uh, cruise speed and 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 all that. Uh, the range um, at full tank, you should get around about seven hours. So that's interesting to know. And here's where it gives you all your uh, the condition and and. You know, you've got an annual checkup, weekly ownership cost. You've got a hundred-hour checkup, and you know, for a new engine, um, how many hours it's done, and things like that. And then you got an estimate. You know, so you can sell it for sixty grand, which I'm going to. So we're going to sell this uh, immediately. Um, so immediately sell, sell aircraft for six zero eight three nine. There we go. Oh no, we've got no aircraft. Uh, and Stocko's uh, Stocko's back in Gloucester. Because we're out of the tutorial now. This is it. This is uh, that's the only tutorial we're going to get. Um, and what we're doing now? Uh, we're going to buy an aircraft. Um, world uh, buy or rent an aircraft. So basically, you search the aircraft I have loaded in my sim. Uh, and at the moment, because we've got the default says now, that's what it's finding. But what we need to do is go in here, go flight configuration. Now I want the Bonanza, where is it? F three A, F three three A Bonanza. I love this little GA aircraft. Um, so we're going to load that at Gloucester uh, using real world weather. And um, I don't know what the time is now. Fifteen. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, so start new flights. There we go. So uh, we'll wait for that to load. Um, but yeah, once we get that to load, you click this button, search for aircraft I've loaded, and then you'll see a different. Uh, you'll see the Bonanza in there. And then here you can choose where to buy your plane. Now you can't just sort of, you know, um, move your plane from somewhere straight to Gloucester and then carry on from Gloucester. You've actually got to go get a bus, get get to your plane, and then fly your plane from there back to Gloucester. So it, it's kind of you know trying to mimic real world uh, for for a transport company. So um, so yeah, 
Uh, the guy was one of those iffy pilots who didn't really need to be flying. Some people aren't cut out for it. No, you're right there. Uh, he's, <laughs> I'm certainly not for real life either, Brad. Uh, he was banned from the airport after that flight. Gosh, right. Uh, good thing I'm not the OS operator in the world. I cringe at machines getting reviews and the plane could have killed somebody. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It looks so fun, but I have no idea how to fly a plane. <laughs> Arctic. If I can do it, Arctic, you know, I'm sure you can do it. Uh, oh, God, I just knocked the microphone again. I'm sorry. It, um, yeah, if I could do it, mate, uh, honestly, if you just set, set a little bit of time out, um, uh, just to, just to learn, uh, you know, just do a bit of, um, uh, YouTube watching. There's loads of tutorial videos out there and, uh, I'm, I'm I'm nowhere near as good as I I I think I am. <laughs> I think I'm better than I actually am, and that's a worry. But uh, I'm sure you'll uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, yes, it was Brad. Yeah, that was the tail number of the standard, um, the default X plane uh, Cessna uh, one seven two. Uh, I've run uh, tree lines against the tracks in the capture and it's pretty fast, especially when I'm looking in the mirrors. Ah, yeah. But uh, yeah, once you load up the plane that you want to put into, oh, loud noises. I'm just gonna give it a minute. It's just loading everything in. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Um, wow, I, f I actually flew the real one seven two SP years ago. Oh wow, okay. Well, it's it's the it's the default um, it's the default one in um. In explain um, so yeah we're here okay so I've, I've put up my uh, you know the, the Bonanza uh, this is a mod um, or yeah uh, G-PCSJ uh, it's a lovely looking plane it's a beautiful plane to fly um, and it's it just looks absolutely incredible um, you know the the detail of it oh I don't know I just I think it's a really, 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 really nice aircraft. And even inside is modelled really well. You know, you've got the Beechcraft uh, written in, in there. And yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay, so you're, you've loaded that up. You go into your sim uh, and then you see search for the aircraft I've loaded. And boom, there you go. You've got the Carinado F33A Bonanza version 1.1. 1 .1. Um, so what you do now is you uh, basically... Bring that as low as possible. Let's try 100 miles, and then you want it 100 miles from e EGBJ, and then search your aircraft database. And then these are all the bonanzas that you can buy um, within within 100 miles of uh, Gloucester. So you're looking at uh, you want something you know fairly in good condition. Uh, so you got the arrows, the engines done. Um, that's the condition of the engine. I think this is the the condition of the airframe. I think. Um, but all the engines look okay, but the condition, uh, probably looking 92%, 94%. You can even rent them as well per month, but I tend to buy them, um, especially after selling the first aircraft for the tutorial. You might might as well. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, let's have a look at this. We're, Where's, where's EGLD? How far away is that? That's 64 nautical miles. Um, so the closest one in green green is this one. Get the details for it. And uh, you can't buy this one. Uh, so it looks like it's a privately owned. Um, it's just uh, out for rent. So, we, oh gosh. Oh no. Don't do anything. Um... I keep using on my mouse. I've got the you know to go back. How's going? Oh, I haven't broke it, have I? You know to go back. Oh gosh, yeah, it's totally crashed. Hang on. There we go. Um. Yeah, try to use the menus and not go back like I do, because uh, I think it just breaks everything. Uh, buy rent aircraft, search for the aircraft that we got. We want that one, uh, 100 miles. 100 miles at EGBJ, search. There we go, okay. 
So we're looking at 64, but we can't buy it. Uh, so the next one, so the only one we could buy are these ones here. It has a price next to it. Uh, this one's at 83. Um, oh, excuse me. This one's at 83 uh, percent, but it's the, the only one we can actually buy. Um, so it looks like we're going to have to buy this one. Um, and, and this thing works in real time. So if you've done some maintenance on, on the on the airplane, then you can't fly it. You know, for the for the as amount of time it takes, the maintenance could take a day or two, which means in real life, in a day, you can't fly. You can't fly the plane. So there's a little element of um, you know having to uh, to to plan it. You know, so if you know you're not going to fly for a few days, then do your maintenance then and 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 stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, I think we're going to buy this one here. Uh, it's in the uh, it's in Welsh pool, um, but uh, get the detail. Uh, Caronado F33A Bonanza version 1.1. It uh, I don't think it carries as much as the Cessna, but I just I don't know. I just like this one better. Uh, well, I, I like I like the plane. I like the look of the plane. And um, airframe condition. Yeah, okay. But we, hopefully, you know, if we're doing these streams every day, uh, we may be going up to a an, you know an A320 in, in in a few a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years. Um, so yeah, let's buy this one. Uh, this is your account. Uh, you can teleport for free as a location. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so they've teleported us to Welshpool. Um, that's the only time you can do it. Other times, if you've got, if you buy a plane in Manchester, you've got to get the bus to Manchester to pick up the plane. So it's allow us to do that. And then uh, there we go. We're in uh, Welshpool. Um, now for jobs, uh, you go. We got any pending jobs? Okay. So we have got missions as well. You can do which are generated. So there's a little mission there from Gloucester to uh, Cullurn. Don't know. Um, so this is my only bugbear. It's got some weird and wonderful um, airports that, like, it's probably a grass strip, and and you fly right across it. You, you can hardly see it. Um, so you just got to be a bit careful of that. But you can get quite a bit of money. There's like five thousand there on normal jobs. Um, if you go here, you want a small trip, maximum weight, um, search surrounding uh, airports. Um, and we type in where you know where are we? We're in Welsh Pool. I think. Let's go to the live map. So we are in EGCW. So if we go to pending jobs, let's just uh, EC EGCW in Welsh Pool. Um, you cannot ask for jobs at small airports. Ah, okay. All right. So it looks like we're just going to have to fly to Welshpool, pick up the stuff. Uh, sorry, fly to Gloucester, pick up the stuff, and then travel to Wales, Welshpool. Um, no, to Cullurn or whatever. But uh, yeah, that'd be for that'd be for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, bus jump on the train. How dare you? Yes, of course. Um, so there we go. That's um, yeah. This is uh, on air, uh, which I'm. Uh, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Um, it's a bit uh, finicky, but uh, we, we'll get there. It generates jobs and it gives you a reason to fly in the sim. So it uh, can't be bad. Um, are the uh, in production? Yeah, 172s. Yeah, yes, they are. Yeah, I think 172s are still in production. I think it's probably the biggest selling aeroplane in the world, I think, possibly. Um, hey, the train man is still here. Uh, busy trying not to crash the Minecraft server. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go, peeps. It's been a few hours. Thank you so much for uh, for joining me today. I hope, uh, yeah, we. I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, I know spread a bit of joy during uh, some crazy times. And um, uh, for those who missed it, I'll, I'll chop this up and stick it on YouTube. And um, but um, but yeah, well, thank you very much, and uh, it's really nice to see you all. And uh, yeah, look out for Twitter and and uh, make sure you follow us on that because uh, I'm I'm sure if work is as quiet as it is today, I'll be streaming again. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, take care and, uh, and, and ciao for now. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.